Our hymn is number 201. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Eternal King Christ Jesus, Lord, the Father's perfect Word and His Son, to Your own image in Your love, You first created sinless man. And when the enemy of good <coughs> deceived our race and brought it low, you chose our nature to assume with virgin mother's free consent that so uniting God and man you might for guilty man atone that pardon through redeeming blood in Christ all men should be baptized. You chose to die upon the cross to save us all from lasting death. You shed your blood in sacrifice to win us endless happiness. Once risen and in glory to with God the Father now you reign, and we believe with hope and love that we through you shall rise again. O Jesus, be our Easter joy which never fades from grateful hearts. May all of us your triumph share, reborn and radiant with grace. All glory, Jesus, be to you, who conquered death and reigned supreme. Resplendent with the Father's power and with the Holy Spirit's life. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever. Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever. Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, 
for his love endures forever. The, the sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought his cry aloud from their mates, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And of the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Alleluia. Sing and make melody to the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion. On the poplars that grew there, we hung up our hearts. For oh, it was there that they asked us. Our captors for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one Zion song. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys, remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, the day of Jerusalem when they said, Tear it down, tear it down to its foundation. O Babylon, destroyer, he is happy who repays you the ills you brought on us. He shall seize and shall dash your children on the rock. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, 
now and forever. Amen. Sing and make melody to the Lord with all your heart. Alleluia. The poor have good news proclaimed to them. Alleluia. Alleluia. O God, give your judgment to the King, to a King's Son, your justice. That he may judge your people in justice, <coughs> and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people, and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He, he shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coasts shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him, for he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives, to him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing, and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land, to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May man flourish in the cities, like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever, and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him, all nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name, let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> the poor have good news proclaimed to them. Hallelujah. <clears throat> he is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Hallelujah. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In Him everything in heaven and on earth was created, 
Things visible and invisible. All were created through Him. All were created for Him. He is before all else that is. In Him everything continues in being. It is He who is head of the body, the Church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Alleluia. letter to the Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priest that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives <clears throat> to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Like the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did, he did that once for all when he offered himself. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. 
and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Non enimisi Deus filium sum in mundum odicet mundum sed ut salvet ur mundus per ipsum Alleluia. In his Son risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. God of our fathers, you raised your son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance, that we may walk in newness of life. Kyrie eleison. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Keep us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promise made to their forefathers. Remember the lonely, the orphaned, and the widow. And do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your Son. Son. Pray for Mauricio, for Father Nathan, for Benedict, and uh, Joseph Mary, and John Michael Paul. For all those who have asked for our prayers, for Carlos. For the Simmons intentions for John and Cindy, for vocations to our community, to religious life, to the priesthood, for the works at the RCH, for the the groups coming, and for Tom and Gigi. You called Steve into your presence when he bore witness to Jesus standing at your right hand. Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hoped for the vision of your glory. Kyrie eleison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, to whom belongs all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry, and to work for the salvation of all people. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of May 16. In 1265, in England, St. Simon Stock, the sixth prior general of the Carmelites. His name remains associated with the scapular of Mount Carmel. In the sixth century, St. Brandon, abbot of Clonthard in Ireland, he piloted his numerous disciples through the waves of this world toward the promised land of the saints. The year of grace 1381, St. John Nepomuscene, a native of Bohemia, he exercised his priestly ministry at Prague, Czechoslovakia. He was imprisoned and then thrown into the Moldau River for having refused to violate the seal of confession. The year of the Lord 1657, the bloody death of St. Andrew Bogola, a Polish Jesuit. Being a successful and active missionary, he aroused the jealousy of certain schismatics to whom he said before being killed, I believe and confess that just as there is only one God, so there is only one true church and one true Catholic faith, revealed by Jesus Christ and preached by the apostles. Following the example of the martyrs, I voluntarily suffer and die for this truth. The same day, the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, tongue, and nation both entered into eternal glory. 